What's going on, everyone? John Pascavage here, and today I'm off work, so I'm gonna hit up just a couple of small central Pennsylvania lakes, do some ice fishing here. Um, and right now I'm about to go down Canoe Creek Lake. It's a small lake I've never ice fished before. I've um, I've open water fished it a few times. Used to fish it from my kayak. There's stock trout, panfish, some pickerel and bass in here, and you know a couple other things as well. But uh, just kind of something new. Just kind of gonna bounce around to some different lakes here and see what I can do. Cause why not? And well, unfortunately, ice fishing season is kind of winding down here quickly in Central PA, or at least I think it will be, because well, today's Tuesday, and Thursday night we're supposed to get about half an inch to an inch or so of rain and it's supposed to warm up and get really windy and then it's supposed to be cold over the weekend but then next week's not looking too good either so i i don't think we have that much time left on the ice here so just gonna get out of it what i can uh in fact i was gonna go um there's a western pa hardwater series tournament it's supposed to be one here um on pima tuning lake to uh, or, uh this saturday buddy matt and i are gonna fish it but um yeah, I they're supposed to get the rain there as well, and they have a lot of ice, but I, we'll have to wait and see if that happens and make sure the, uh, the, the ice holds and everything and the weather doesn't do too much to it, uh, knock on wood. But um, anyway, just going to get out here and see what I can do. Oh, crappy. Oh, just a little guy. Remember the weeds. We choked the little caviar drop. Lots of small stuff here. The way he flew up off the bottom, oh, man. <sighs> Lots of little crappies in here. Yeah. This is nice, whatever it is.
Mm -hmm. There's a freaking carp. Unreal. Oh. It's a carp. It's a freaking carp. The size of that. I'm not gonna be able to get him up through the hole, I don't think. Oh man. Get him up through the hole. Up off the bottom, I didn't know what that was. So, yeah, I ended up coming over to Sayers. Um, caught a bunch of fish over at Canoe Creek there, but they were all you know, small crappies and small bluegills, nothing really couldn't really find much size there for whatever reason. And then, of course, I did catch that carp, that was kind of the highlight of that. But you know, I'll definitely have to kind of check that lake out a bit more. I'm just not, you know. So when it comes to ice fishing, that was my first time ever ice fishing it, so I need to definitely get out there and just get some experience there. But anyway, I came over to Sayers today um, just because, well, as I said, with the rain coming, this may very well, this lake is, since it's a flood control reservoir, um, this may very well be the last day I can get on it this year. I hope it isn't, but well, there's, the flood, there's that and they're starting to draw it down too. Um, you've seen me, you've heard me talk about, well, first of all, you, you obviously seen me fish here and you've heard me talk about the old, you know, Valentine's conspiracy theory that they start drawing it down. You know, yesterday was Valentine's day and they start drawing it down right around Valentine's day because, you know, all the women of the world are, they're calling and complaining that their husbands and their boyfriends and their men and everything are, are out fishing too much. So they want them to start drawing down, knock the ice off there. I mean, obviously, I, I obviously don't think that's true, but that's it, it's definitely something interesting to think about. But uh, anyway, I'm going to get on here, see if I can't get into a nice little, um, find some schools and maybe find a um, nice little kind of late eat, late afternoon, early evening bite here, kind of before dark. So let's go. They started drawing this down, as you can see, too. You see where the ice is kind of just coming down on itself here. I mean, I'm not, we'll be able to get on the problem, but still, it's pretty interesting.
school over there. So yeah, it was a very productive day overall. Uh, caught a lot of fish, had a lot of fun. Obviously, you know, like I said, I started out on Canoe Creek, caught some fish, and then I went over to Sayers, and you know, once I found the schools of crappy, the bite was almost nonstop. And I, for that lake, I I did get into a few bigger ones. I'm guessing around oh the 11 inch range, so that was good as well. Um, and obviously. I, I don't know what's going to happen with this weather here. I think some of the uh, mountain lakes and some of the lakes up north, kind of in north central Pennsylvania, maybe even in, you know, New York, upstate New York will stay, you know, they'll stay frozen for a few weeks. Yeah, I'll definitely have to take a trip to some of them. But um, I'm just going to, I can't, you know, it's nothing I can change really. So I'm just going to enjoy the rest of it and see what happens. And it's also getting to be that time where you know, you'll see me, start to prepare for uh, spring fly fishing, spring trout fishing. The big hatches are coming up here on the central PA streams and rivers. And also I'll be getting the boat ready for uh, bass tournaments. Those are gonna be beginning again here in late March, early April. So that's, I have, I'm, I'm hoping for some big things out of that this year, looking forward to that as well. Um, and another big announcement, I, in case you didn't see on my Facebook or my Instagram, I've officially crossed the 1,000 subscriber threshold on my YouTube channel, so I wanna thank all of you for that. It means a lot to me, and if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button, and I'll strive to continue to bring you the same great content. I'll be doing a you know more formal segment to thank everyone for that here in the near future, but it's definitely a big milestone for the channel, so thank you very much, and hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you next time.